So it came to pass that Veromesh was gripped by a great famine. So Markon went to the prophet Articus and asked to go to the forest for food. How many people have you killed? Do you keep track? Put little notches in your Ori belt. The prophet bade him be patient, for the Ori provide for all who have faith. But Markon did not believe. Do you remember their faces? Or are there too many of them? Hundreds. Thousands? So the prophet drew a line in the sand and told him, step across and you may do as you wish. So Markon did and left the village and feasted on wild berries. What about the stories in there that are all about not killing? Enough! They were each given a chance to save themselves. Those who do not walk the path are not worthy. You can preach all you want to me, Tomen, but I know that's not what you not believe. did satisfy him. He longed to return to the village, but found that the line had widened to a great chasm. I've read the book. I've read it. I understand why you think it's so important. The words give you comfort, and at face value, it appears to be he as called if they're, out to the they're, they're trying to inspire the, the best out of people. Honesty, changed, morality. It is you who have changed. Step across if you truly believe. This whole believe. crusade is a manipulation. Nothing in there says that those who don't so believe Mark should be massacred. For Where does it say that, Foman? Where does it say that? The Ori are not gods. Oh! You should kill me now. 